Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss law, problem number 5. In figure, a proton is, uh, is a distance d by 2 directly above the center of a square of side d. What is the magnitude of the electric flux through the square? Hint, uh, the th think of the, okay, hint is also given there. So we have a situation, we are given a square surface here with side d. And then exactly above the center of the square, we have a proton placed there. And we have to find out flux through this surface. Flux through this surface. Whenever you have to find out flux through a surface with the charge given there, because of the charge placed somewhere, you have to find some way to use Gauss law, which is flux through a closed surface is equal to Q enclosed by epsilon zero. We have to find a way to use Gauss law. But the problem is Gauss law is for a closer surface. And this is not a closer surface here. So what we need to do is we need to build a closer surface around this charge. Such that the given surface is part of that closer surface, which we will build. And, and we have to select that uh, closer surface very smartly so that by using Gauss law, if we find the total flux through that closed surface, then the next step should be easy. It should be easy for us to find out flux through this given surface, out of the flux through that closed surface. Okay, so we have to construct a closed surface around this charge Q uh, symmetrically. That is the only way we can find out later on, find out flux through this surface. So what we do is we build a cube around this surface, around this charge. With this given surface, with this, with this given square being the bottom face of that uh, cube, cube of psi d. Now we have charge at the center of the cube. Okay, we have charge at the center of the cube. And this cube is a closed surface. We can easily find out flow, flux through this uh, closed surface. Flux through the cube according to Gauss law is Q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. So Q enclosed is just Q which is a proton. We'll substitute the value uh, in a while. So this is flux through the cube. This flux through the cube. But we have to find out flux through this face. We're not, uh, we were not asked to find out flux through the cube. We are asked to find out flux through this face. So now what we'll do is, we'll uh, 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 use the symmetry here. Since charge is at the center of the cube, okay? Since charge is at the center of the cube. So this total flux, will be equally shared by the six faces of the cube. Had the charge been somewhere uh, not at the center, somewhere on the side, then flux won't be equally shared. Okay, so that's, that's the reason we have to select the, select the closed surface very smartly, in a symmetric way. So now the charge is at the center of the cube, okay, charge is at the center of the cube, so flux will be shared by the six faces equally. Flux will be shared by the six faces equally. That means flux through each face will be one sixth of the total flux through the cube. So flux through each face and uh, our given surface is one of the faces is one sixth of the flux through the cube. So that is flux through the cube divided by six. So this flux will be equally divided into six parts for the six faces of the cube. So this is Q divided by six epsilon zero. So we can substitute the values, numbers now. Q is proton, so that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb divided by 6 into epsilon 0 is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 in SI system, okay? Now, uh, this comes out to be, I already worked it out, 3.01, 3.01 into 10 to the power minus 9 newton meter square per coulomb so this is flux through each face which and uh, uh, our uh, given surface is one of those faces so flux through the given surface is uh, q divided by 6 epsilon 0 which is 3.01 into 10 to the power minus 9 minus 9 newton meter square per coulomb okay so that'll do for the session